What's good, Dark Knight Gang? I'm Neptune. Bro, uh, listen, reactions are back. So the best way for me to get started back with reactions is for me to react to a spiritual video. Listen, man, today we're about to watch a video from Infinite Waters, my boy Ralph Smart. Listen, Ralph Smart, that's my mentor. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I see things differently than him. Of course, we're all different, but the homie is so wise. The homie is so wise. I've learned so much from him. So look, look, he just dropped the video three hours ago. This video is titled, The Fifth Dimensional Earth Has Arrived, But Only 1% Can See It. I want to watch it, bro. I want to watch it. I want to see exactly what he's talking about. I want to see how only 1% can see this fifth dimensional earth. You know what I'm saying? Even though, all right, me personally, I told you guys what I think the fifth dimension is. It's just a level of consciousness. It's a level of awareness. You know what I'm saying? If you're walking in love, you're loving everybody, you loving your life, you know, you loving the sun, the moon, the stars, and you just in tune with Mother Earth and you're, and you're in tune with the world, that's like fifth dimension. You know what I'm saying? You accept everyone, you love everyone, you know we all have our differences, you feel me? So you just accept and you love everyone and you love yourself. That to me is the fifth dimensional consciousness. Now, Ralph is saying that is here and only 1% can see it. I don't know, we're gonna see what he's talking about. This is a long video, it's a 30 minute video, so strap on in, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna try to cut him off too much, but you know, I will have to chime in. I gotta see what the homie has to say. You know, Ralph, he actually helped me a lot on my journey, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack, he did. So I'm excited to see this video. Shout out to the gang. I hope everybody have a great day. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Infinite waters diving deep once again. Hey, hey, I wonder if he's this animated, like, if when you meet him. You know what I'm saying? I'm an animated person. When I speak, I speak with my hands. I'm animated, you know? I wonder if he's this animated when you meet him in person. If he's just like, hey, peace. Infinite waters. <laughs> Beautiful it's deep divers. I'm chilling in it's the fifth dimension. <laughs> raising the frequency. Raising the vibration. <sighs> Inhaling the good ass prana, baby. Yes, sir. I'm Breathing in the good ass prana, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fifth dimensional earth has arrived. Only the chosen ones can see it. Only the mm. 1% can see it. Mm. And that 1% right now on the planet is standing up for their freedoms is saying no to a 1984 totalitarian nightmare. The 1% are uniting to say, actually being free is our birthright. And right, you're seeing right. it happen all around the world. People reclaiming their power, standing together, reclaiming their freedom, saying, actually fear, you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell out of here because right- All right, all right so listen, a lot of you guys already know are gonna be like, what, what is he talking about 1%? Chosen ones, fifth dimension, fear. Uh, wh what is he talking about, Brandon? So, you know like how in the world right now, a lot of fear is being spread through COVID, through just lockdowns. Oh, you gotta be locked down. Even though, even though you know what I'm saying, COVID mortality rate is extremely low. Oh, walk around in fear. That's what he's saying. Like, nah, the ones that know, they don't walk around in fear. Cause they're like, bro, like, if you get sun, if you take care of yourself, you drink water, you good. But let's keep watching, let's keep watching. Right now, we're in the fifth dimension. The new earth has been here for a long time, but only 1% can see it. And only 1% of people can get there. Let me tell you a story. In 2006, I had a breakdown. Oh shit, okay. The breakdown I had, the breakdown I had was to realize I had been living my entire life wrong. Yeah, me too, And this bro. is the reason why I was unhappy. I had a dark night of the soul. Yeah. I had to awaken to the matrix to see actually I've been living in a matrix. And this is what happens when you wake up from this dream spell, this dream cast, you wake up and realize, oh my gosh, I know nothing. And this is the birth of your great awakening, which ultimately leads you 
into a new dimension. Just like there are levels to this. Facts. There are dimensions to this. Down for some of you guys. <laughs> and it's all right, so listen, I already know. Some of you guys are like, Brandon, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? <laughs> so, let me break it down easy. What he's basically saying, he said in 2006, he had a breakdown, right? And he realized he was living wrong. That happens to a lot of people. That happened to me too, bro. That happened to me too. What he's saying is he was living based on societal expectations. He wasn't truly following his heart. He was living wrong. And so he realized, like, what the fuck? Like, the things that I'm doing in life, this is not what I truly want to do. Why am I doing them? And it led him to having his awakening, which just means he came into realization of this. He realized this. He woke up. You know what I'm saying? He just woke up like, yo, why am I living a life that I don't actually want to live? So he said, once you first realize that, that is the catalyst. That is the beginning of your awakening. And then you go on your journey. And you can go to the fifth dimension, the new earth. And remember, the new earth is just a state of consciousness. This is how I interpret what he says. Let's keep going. It's all about awakening to the matrix. That from the moment you were born, I'm you have been put into a system. That's the matrix. The that system. was like not the designed to help you grow and evolve. Yeah, man. It was designed to keep you in the box tame you to control you uh, keep you in the box to make sure you never truly wake up yeah man to make sure you never truly wake up to your grand power but you see in the fifth dimension you wake up to this grand power the 3d is ego association the fifth dimension is unity consciousness yeah and only the one percent can see it but this 1% is extremely powerful because the 1% can shift and are shifting the entire collective reality. Great <laughs> things are on the horizon hey. because for the first time, people are now realizing the power has been with us all along and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. This nigga... <laughs> I remember watching The Jungle Book uh, and there's a scene in The Jungle Book where these explorers, they go into this temple and they see all of this treasure, the gold, the diamonds, the rubies, and their greed, their ego mind says, hey, let me just take this gold and take this diamond and the rubies and the door is closing, deep divers. And Mowgli is just there watching them. And they are so consumed by greed, the ego mind, it's like the me. door closes, right? <laughs> it's not like me, nigga. And they are trapped <laughs> with all the gold, but they can't get out. It's not like me. You oh, see, that's just a metaphor for how so many people live in the 3D. You see, Mowgli <laughs> knew that he didn't have to get the gold because he was the gold. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> this is what happens in the fifth dimension. And the fifth dimensional earth has arrived. I don't have to chase the gold because I am the gold. I don't have to have diamonds. Hey. I am the diamond. Hey, <laughs> bars. I am <laughs> rich. Facts. Realizing no, facts, I All create of happiness. Yeah. The fifth dimensional earth has arrived because people for the first time are realizing they are the true co-creators. <laughs> We are the creators. We can create worlds. Awaken to the Matrix, which is out, right? The Matrix film is out, right? Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. Well, the Matrix tonight. wasn't a film. It was a documentary. I know he was mm. going to say that. <laughs> Slow motion this side. I know he was about to say that, bro. And in the Matrix, you have a choice to make. Red pill or blue You can pill? take the blue pill and you can stay in the ignorant sleep dream world. Or you can take the red pill and awaken to the truth of who you really are. And you now become timeless. In the fifth dimension, there is no time. That's why I don't wear a watch. Ah. That's why I don't <laughs> wear a watch. Because in the fifth dimension, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Literally, no pun intended, right? <laughs> the fifth dimensional Ooh. earth has arrived. Only the chosen ones can see it. Why you didn't see... 
This is why some of you guys don't like him because sometimes he doesn't break it down to like common understanding. What he meant by that was, all right, so he said time is a non-factor. The reason why we're not focused on the past and we're not projecting too much into the future. We're living in the present. So when you live in the present and you do what you want to do and you love doing what you want to do, you're fully in the present. So time isn't a factor. You're not thinking, oh, I can't wait till this happens. Or you're not focused on the past like, oh, you're just living right here, right now. So if you're always living right here, right now, time is a non-factor. Do you get what I'm saying? If you're always in the present moment, you're not too worried about time. Of course, you can plan for goals and dreams and things of that nature, of course. But for the most part, you're living in the present moment in the here and now. That's why he's saying time is a non-factor. Ralph, sometimes you got to break it down because sometimes people don't understand, bro. But you know I'm here with you. You already know. This is what the fifth dimension is all about. You see, in the 3D, there are all of these rules and regulations and everything is very dense it's a concrete jungle you kept in a box in the fifth dimension yeah. everything becomes lighter you feel lighter yeah Everything's you have open. more space yeah Facts. you have more of Love. a connection with who you really are in the 3d you are disconnected and the one percent the chosen ones the deep divers who have really tapped into who they truly are realize that actually we've been sold a lie this whole thing is a stage show it's all an illusion man in the fifth dimension you awaken to the illusion you realize that actually Your we don't need being. you and this is why the one percent of the population <clears throat> are no longer dependent on the matrix, on the system. And this is what the fifth dimension is all about. You are now dependent on yourself. Yeah, man. And your soul tribe and your community that support you and guide you. The fifth dimension is unity consciousness. The 3D is ego association. And all right, if you've made it this far, hopefully you understand what he's saying. And I, and I don't have to keep breaking everything down. Unity consciousness, it means exactly what he's saying. Unity consciousness. So now you're not always just focused on me, 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 me. It's more so you know it's all about unity. The fifth dimension has arrived. Only the 1% can see it. The 1% can see that actually... The people who are leading humanity don't even know themselves. Man. Man. And that's who you want to follow? Man. They're not doing meditations. Man. They show not They're meditating. not doing inner healing. Man. These people are mad. <laughs> <laughs> so in the fifth dimension, you don't follow people out there <clears throat> you follow your intuition and the intuition is the voice of the universe which is you you are the universe you are the stardust the fifth dimension <coughs> has arrived <coughs> I can feel it. I can feel the love vibration can you feel the love vibration I can feel the love vibration oh man I can feel that actually I don't have to be afraid because when you are in fear, you lose power. When Man. you are in love, you reclaim me. your power. You recharge your energy. You enter new frontiers. Life is a meme, deep divers. <laughs> That's what the 3D is all about. That's the big joke. <sighs> this whole thing is a big joke. Many people on the planet who are drinking the Kool-Aid do not realize they have a choice. And this is the reason why a lot of people go along with Simon. Who's Simon? Simon says, do this, okay. <laughs> I told you. The crowd <sighs> is the matrix. You're funny. You're funny. You're funny. Pardon? The crowd 
is the matrix. That's the 99%. The 1% never follow the crowd. They follow themselves. Exactly. And that's what the fifth dimension is all about. Yes, sir. You now give yourself more credit to say, actually, let me trust my intuition. You now realize you can make a choice that is uniquely yours. That's what happens in the fifth dimension. You take back the choices. You realize the possibility is endless. I met someone the other day, Deep Divers, who's like, Ralph, you know, in my job, I have to take the fourth booster. Sheesh. I don't have a choice. I said, no. Of course you have a choice. But then I realized there's levels to this. Yeah, man. Only 1% can see that actually you do have a choice. Yeah. And you don't have to go along with their script. You can tear up their script and you can create your own. You see, some of you guys can be like, no, because in order to work there, she has to get it. She has a choice. She can still say no. And if that job, if that job lets her go, okay, she still made her choice. You always have a choice in everything that you do. Everything. Right now on the planet, many people are starting to wake up, awaken to the matrix. We are the only species that pays to live and eat, yet we are supposed to be the most intelligent. Right? Mm. Makes no sense, bro. Slow motion right? this side. <laughs> Say it again. That makes no sense. We are the only species on the planet that pays to live and eat, yet we are supposed to be the most intelligent. Man, this is why we got to change the world, man. The people that have certain realizations, this is why we have to change the world. How was that even... Fair, not even fair, but how does that even make sense? How are there people in the world still starving? Like, sir, man, this is why we got to change the world, bro. Like a lot of people think, oh my gosh, I got a place to stay. That's your birthright. <laughs> you were born on this planet. This is not something here. you should just be celebrating about. This right? is what is yours. <laughs> exactly. Like, nigga, you was born. This earth <laughs> is your home. You shouldn't have to stress every single day just exactly. to put food on the table exactly because i told you in the fifth dimension you have this epiphany you have this, this realization yeah man that you are a co-creator as a man thinketh as a woman thinketh it's instant manifestation in the fifth dimension what you visualize mean? to materialize you say actually it's already here mm-hmm it's already here. Everything I desire is already here. Mm -hmm. And it's already here. Mm -hmm. I woke up one day. I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to do whatever I want every single day. I'm going to enjoy myself. Me too. Nigga. Your wish is my command. Me That's too. what happens in the fifth dimension. Exactly. That's how I live every Instead day. Instead of just saying, actually, <laughs> there's only one way. You say, actually, the possibility is endless. Exactly. And you say, I didn't come here just to survive i came here to thrive i came here to share with beautiful souls who make me feel like sunlight hey all right shout out to my boy ralph great video like always bro um listen listen so i already explained to you guys his different concepts unity consciousness fifth dimensional earth you know what i'm saying i explained how it's different levels of consciousness different levels of seeing reality and living life. Now, towards the end, he started talking about people that's already living there, right? And how he was saying there's no fear. They have nothing to be worried about. He wakes up every day with uh, uh, grapes in his mouth. So basically what he's saying is when you get to the fifth dimension, when you get to this level of understanding, this level of consciousness, you get to live your life every single day the way that you want to live your life. And you're not you're basically not living how society is telling you to live or how anyone else is telling you to live. You're living your life how you want to live it. And in order to get to the quote unquote fifth dimension, how Ralph keeps saying it, the new earth, the fifth dimension, in order for you to get to this level of understanding, you have to go through a lot of stuff. You have to. We all have to. You know what I'm saying? You guys saw what I went through. You feel me? Like everybody has to go through. You have to go through it. And then you come to a lot of different realizations. 
and you realize how you should live. Great video from the homie Ralph. Great video from my boy Infinite Waters Diving Deep. Shout out to the gang, Dark Knight gang. Like I said in the beginning of this video, Ralph is like one of my mentors, bro. He's my mentor. Not for, listen, you have physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional health, right? Ralph is my spiritual help. He He's my spiritual guru. I listen to other dudes for physical because Ralph doesn't talk about working out and things of that nature. Of course not. He talks about, of course, uh, eating. He's vegan, so he's extremely healthy. And he talks about eating from Mother Earth, and that's good for your physical health. But I also believe men should be working out, right? And you don't have to, but I love to work out. So I also have other mentors that I watch that talk about the physical side of life. But Ralph, he's like my spiritual, my spiritual guru. Shit that I learned. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, shout out to the gang. Everybody have a great day. Reactions tomorrow. Like I said, the reason why I had to do a spiritual reaction. If I'm back doing reactions, bro, I had to start it off with a spiritual one. So, other type of reactions, normal reactions, sports, WWE, anime, all that shit. You already know what's up. Coming back tomorrow. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a great day. You already know you my boys. Any women that's watching, you already know. You my girl. Have a great day, man. Love y'all. Gang, gang. Peace.